It's important to set up your availability correctly. Uh, what do we mean by availability? We're talking about the times that you are available where someone can book with you. So how the system works is um, a person uh, goes to your calendar, they book an appointment and the system automatically accepts based on the preset availability. So we're going to look at how to set up the availability. So now we are on the home page. For us to go to the availability section, you come to uh, the extreme left, scroll down to where it says availability under business section or business settings. So when you click availability, you see calendars, resources, and global scheduling limits. So before we go on uh, into setting up uh, this account, we'd like to explain a few concepts just quickly, and then we go to set up. So the availability is uh, contained within calendars. Uh, calendars show the time that you are available on each day. Now, what are these calendars and what can they represent? Calendars can represent an employee. It can be the CEO, the receptionist, anyone who wants to make uh, a booking or who wants anyone to make a booking with them. Uh, is represented by a calendar. So a calendar can represent the schedule of an employee. The second use of a calendar is if a company has got different locations. So if you have got a location in one area and another, these can be separate calendars to say area one is calendar one. So, so, so someone can book with a particular branch of a company. Therefore, that branch is represented by a calendar. Sometimes you might have a sales team where uh, uh, maybe bookings are distributed uh, equally among the members depending uh, on how you want it set up. So each calendar can be assigned to a team member. So in Squarespace scheduling, it depends on the package that you have bought. Uh, if you bought uh, a package which has more calendars, that means you have more flexibility in assigning calendars either to employees, locations or branches or to a team member. So that's how you can make use of calendars. Sometimes it might happen that uh, there is a limit on the resources that you have. Uh, so you see what we call resources that we're going to set up uh, in the example that we have. So what are these resources? We've set up an example to explain how resources work. Say you have six people uh, in your sales team. So this means that you have six calendars. A person can book uh, with any of these team members represented by a calendar each. So you can name the calendars after each any of these six people but the problem is uh, when a person books the team member must drive to that person so that they have a meeting but there are only three cars so these cars are the resources that are limiting the number of bookings which can be made so if there's a limit in resources we make use of the resource section it shows now that there are three cars even though you can book with six people. So if, if all the three cars are booked, whenever three of these salespeople are booked, then the resources will limit the booking for people until another car becomes available. So that function helps you to control uh, the resources which are uh, in limited supply. That's how we use the resources section. Now that we have explained calendars and resources, how do we set up these calendars? So if you come to calendars and click on calendars, it will bring up just the single calendar that's there. You can add several calendars by just clicking here, add calendars. In this example, we're just going to make use of just one calendar that I've set up. So I have two appointment types which I had already set up and they are appearing here on the screen, consultation and onboarding. So whenever I change the availability here, it will affect both of these. If you just want it to affect just one, you click edit group and remove the one you don't want to be affected by the settings in this calendar. So in this case, we are simply assigning all of them to the same calendar. 
here is where you can show your regular week in my case i want to say 8 a.m to 1 p.m every day um so you put that information there you can even change it if you want to say maybe you want to finish at 2 p.m every thursday you simply do that so these are the regular uh, waking hours every day you can override these regular waking hours by coming just here so before you do that you seem to you need to save those regular hours say you want to change your schedule just one day or several days you simply click the day and change the times that you want say on this day you want to start at 9 a.m uh, that's wednesday 14 december so you set the hours there only on that day it will change your schedule so this is what we call an override you can even stop uh, the entire day so that there is no nothing that happens for example on thursday 15 december we have deleted so we say set hours then that day is closed as you can see here so these affect only these two these changes only affect these two appointment types so whenever someone books with you they will be confined to these times and any overrides that you have set below here now they are under calendar settings that you can also change so you simply come to calendar settings here you can change the name of the calendar the description say you have a location that you want people to be added to uh, for example uh, we'd not set any locations yet it can be an in-person meeting the location is set up here you can also add an image that identifies this calendar it's good to put email notifications uh, so you can add the email address here uh, for example i'm just going to put an email address there where notifications will go and if someone wants to reply an email you put a reply email here uh, whenever they receive a notification they reply to that email it will appear in the address box on that email so after doing that we can save so generally that's how you set up your availability now what about resources um, remember we can set up resources by coming to the resources tab there you can add a new resource here uh, to say probably you have three cars available for your group so this will work for both the consultation and onboarding so once you create these resources they are connected to the meetings or event types that you have created so they will limit uh, the events to only three cars as we have talked about so while setting up uh, your availability on the calendar there are what we call calendar scheduling limits and they are found here on the second tab now these apply directly only to this calendar but you can also make use of these global scheduling limits which will be the default settings for any calendar that is created in the future and these are just applied every time so we're just going to look at the uh, calendar scheduling limits that we have here you can limit the number of hours a person can book uh, with you as in the time between where you book and the time where the event starts you can also uh, limit the days into the future where you can book with a person so here we are just limiting it only to 30 days uh, saying that a person can only book 30 days into the future also you can also limit the number of appointments per slot of time uh, in this case you're just saying you will only want one person to book with you uh, per slot of time it's possible to have several people book with you on a particular time to say at one o'clock i want uh, three people to book with me which means that you get to meet three people at the same time however in this case we only want one person to book at that time you can also uh, limit the number of hours in which a person can uh, reschedule or cancel uh, an appointment uh, in this case where it says do not allow cl cancel, uh, clients to cancel or reschedule appointments uh, in less than 12 hours you can reduce that time or edit sometimes you might want to limit the number of appointments per day so these options allow you to do that you can say accept appointments until fully booked 
oro you can say i want a maximum uh of these number of hours per day to be booked with me number of uh, uh, hours per week or number of meetings or appointments per day you can make use of this so you just choose what you want for example if you choose this you can just say uh, a maximum of five hours per day is uh, the number of appointments that i want to be fit in my schedule once you do this uh, you then save these limits and they only apply to that particular calendar it's really important to set up what we call global scheduling limits and to do that we come here so uh, in global scheduling limits what we are referring to is to set up um, account-wide settings that will apply on uh, every uh, event type which is created so these settings will be like a default setting that will be applied to every uh, meeting that you set however if you change anything with that within that meeting these would not apply but if you just set up a meeting and do not change any of the scheduling limits then it will stay like that so in this case there is a minimum of 12 hours uh, before a person can schedule so the time between uh, the time where a person schedules and the time where the meeting happens there is a gap of 12 hours you can actually change that gap to say two hours also the maximum number of days in which a person can um, create a meeting in the future is 365 days but normally it would be good to reduce that time probably to 30 days because many things can happen within a year so if you limit it to 30 days people can book with you with you within 30 days you can easily control your schedule there you also have an option uh, to allow the client to reschedule to cancel appointments uh, maybe to change information that they've put on intake forms you simply play around with these settings there is also an option here which is a tab which allows you to uh, play around with the start intervals so the start intervals for each meeting can be every 30 minutes every 20 minutes say you want to make it every hour so you just come here and click every then change it to 60 minutes so your meetings will be set up on every 60 minutes and when the person tries to book you see that they are only able to book on every uh, 60 minute uh, time interval you can also minimize the gaps to say try to leave as little uh, time between meetings as possible this is the tab that you can uh, change that setting so just by clicking here it reduces the number or the time between meetings utilizes all the time available you can do that further by also saying i'll uh, avoid small gaps but allow at least a gap of uh, this amount of time sometimes you might just want to look busy um, you come here to the look busy tab where you can set the percentage as to reduce the number of appointments by a certain percentage so you can just change it from here and then uh, if you say 50 percent then you every time a person wants to book with you your schedule looks like uh, you have 50 percent of it booked already so these are very important settings that you can play around with uh, when setting up your availability so after you do that you need to save these changes so that you do not lose them